I've been chasing the 98% rent increase proposed by a Wallington landlord, which would affect 350 apartments. Now, if this is approved, the tenants would have to pay nearly double their current rent. Can you just tell me what's your rent goal? It's 744 right at the moment. It's going to be 1400 for one bedroom apartment, which I cannot f afford. Now check out this video sent to us by Paul Nichols. In it you see Jason Town 2 tenants coming to the mayor asking for help. If you don't want to paint it, buy me the paint, I'll do it. I can hire people to help me, you know, do it for free to volunteer. Now, I went to go speak with Mayor Walter Wargoski about what happened at this meeting. And he said last Monday at a working meeting, about 60 residents came asking for help. Last Monday, uh, we had a work session at the, uh, our normal uh, monthly work session. And about 60 residents of the Jason Town 2 apartment complex uh, came forward and, and asked for some help. Now, just to give you an idea about this, Jason Town 2 is a privately owned housing complex. In the 1970s, it got a mortgage through the state. Now, part of the agreement of this mortgage was that it provide housing for low income tenants. Uh, they're above the poverty level, uh, but they're in between uh, and they don't have the, the resources to pay uh, market rentals. So they're caught between a rock and a hard place. He told me that according to the residents, many of the apartments have become in disrepair, and that is why the landlord is asking for this massive increase. D Trevor, didn't they have a hearing, though, in Trenton? No. So that is what's so amazing there's been no about this. At all. There's no hearing, there's no public comment, period, which the mayor expected that there would be. The tenants, uh, the people that live there, have 30 days to make comments, so it's very important that the people that live in this uh, complex make their comments and make it known to the state agency. Even if they had a hearing and everyone showed up and everyone objected, he's still within his rights to do it. Right. She. She. I mean, that's she, my, yeah. but that's, but let me, but is that true? Legally, yes, she's okay. still within her rights. That's now, my question. Is it justifiable to have that large of an increase? It sounds like this landlord doesn't have the resources to make basic fixes. I mean, there's something to be said for your, your market value of your rental properties has to reflect, one, what the market will bear, and two, the resources you need to help people live in decent conditions. So I guess the question is, if the law said you can't do it, this is part of the problem with rent control, and you stop it and I can't make any increases, well then who's putting up the money to fix the apartment? Well now here's another question that's been raised, and actually while I was investigating this, I pulled uh, their agreement with the state, and yeah. in it, when they got this agreement in the 70s, they agreed to provide low-income housing. That deal is up in 2019. I feel for every one of those people, I can't imagine if my housing cost doubled. I can't even imagine what and, that would be like. I get it. On the other side, uh, the landlord doesn't owe someone you know, a living and some, you know, the, the system works because everybody has to benefit. So if one side is weighted where he can't afford, she can't afford this, I don't know any other choice than to raise the rents.